My name is Rudi Michel and I'm uh, responsible for technology research and development uh, at GEA Brewery Systems. And uh, behind me, that's one of our developments uh, we did in the last year. So we are trying to improve the utilization of hops in, uh, in the brewing process. And uh, the target was to develop an, a system which is able to isomerize uh, the hop product. And if we are able to improve this isomerization pro process, our customers will be able to reduce their annual hop bill uh, for in the brewery. I have two examples with me. Uh, this, uh, you see, that's a lighter color here, and this is a darker color. This is the unisomerized product, and this is the final product after the isomerization. And this product contains approximately 30.5% iso-alpha uh, acid and can be dosed, and this uh, product can be dosed at any point in the brewing process prior to the beer filtration. And that's really the, the uh, new point. Currently, the state of the art is hobby stoves in the word kettle. And we are now uh, get more flexibility in the dosing point, and that in the end leads to a, a, a better utilization. So if we dose it after the word boiling, boiling we are reducing uh, the losses. And in the end, we are able to uh, deduct the hop bill of the brewery between 15 and 50% which is sometimes a hell of a lot of money. If the brewery, for example, is producing 2 million hectoliters, we are talking about 250, 300,000 euros a year, uh, which can be saved by the brewery. Isomerization is a chemical process. Uh, I think uh, sometimes you know it. Uh, if you uh, remember in the kitchen, uh, the garlic, the smell of the garlic, and the substance in the onions who create uh, tears in your eyes, that's the same chemical structure, but it's a different shape of the structure. It's an isomerization. And that we are doing, we have uh, in the hops, we have a bitter substance, which is really harsh. And with this isomerization, we change, you see the color, we change a six ring structure into a five ring structure. And that uh, changes the flavor. The flavor becomes more smooth and uh, the, the hop bouquet is very improved uh, by that isomerization reaction. And that is a heat treated uh, process. First of all, we have a mechanical uh, distribution. We have to break down the liquid into droplets of uh, one micrometer. Uh, these droplets are stable. That's the reason why this product is six weeks old and has a life shell of six months. And after that, we have a heat treatment. So we heat it two or four minutes to 125, 130 degrees centigrade to get this uh, reaction done. After that, we stop the reaction. This gives us this stable final product. The uh, cut down of the particle size is done in a two-step way. Uh, we have the first step, which is a an, uh, an kind of agitator uh, to receive 50 microparticles. And then we have a shear gap machine, uh, which uh, cuts down it to one, hand, to one micro. So this unit is a complete GEA product. We have uh, GEA Brewery Systems, we have GEA Nairo Suave, and we have again tools of our GEA Brewery Systems portfolio and where we built the whole process. We try to create the win-win situation for our customers and our company. We want to sell the unit and we want to give uh, the customer the opportunity to save money in the end.